Hey guys, welcome back. So today is Monday and it is about five o'clock in the evening. We are gonna be having a little game night at our house. So I found this recipe online and it has to do with like chicken thighs and um, rice and like you needed a Dutch oven and I didn't have one. So I ordered one off of Amazon and it wasn't that expensive. We realized when we were looking for Dutch ovens that they can easily range to about $60, which is crazy. And so this one is from Amazon. I'll be sure to link it down below. I wanted to open it on camera with you. The cool thing about this is I guess you get a little um, heat protectant, I think, to pull it out of the oven or maybe even to set the Dutch oven on, which is pretty cool. So this is my first time opening it. I haven't seen it. I wanted to wait for us to do it on camera. So I hope it looks nice. And it's in the red color. And these things are crazy heavy. And it's by the brand Unicook. If you guys are wondering, hopefully I can take this off. So that's the lid. Very, very solid. And now I'm gonna take this out. And this is the little Dutch oven. So if you're not familiar with what a Dutch oven is, first, ew, <laughs> and second, <laughs> once we grow up a little bit. Um, a Dutch oven basically means that this can go from stovetop directly into the oven. So it's meant for that type of heat. Um, I don't think it can go above 400, which is fine. The recipe that I'm doing only calls to go to about 200. So this is the actual, take that. Thank you. This is the actual Dutch oven. It's a great size, I think, for, you know, two people. I'm making a meal for about three people tonight. So this is what it looks like. For the price, $36.99, I'm very, very happy. And I love that they threw in this little um, plastic base that once it's done cooking we can rest on there so it's not too hot maybe even put it directly onto the table after it's done cooking so i'm going to go ahead and wash this really quick for our first use and then i will get into the chicken and rice recipe okay guys so our dutch oven is freshly washed now we're going to get into the chicken i have five chicken thighs that or i have a pack of chicken thighs but i need to have five for this recipe and i'm going to rinse them too that's just personal preference one two three four and five. Okay, so I gave it a quick rinse and the ingredients for the chicken is super, super simple. It's only four seasonings. So you're gonna do one teaspoon of paprika. So I'm gonna do that right here. Finley over here, baby. right here mama's right here okay so one teaspoon paprika one teaspoon of parsley flakes or just parsley one teaspoon one teaspoon of salt I'm gonna open that over the sink it always drips right here one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of pepper. This one is kind of difficult to open because it's the cracked one, so I'm just gonna have to guesstimate how much a teaspoon is. That should be good. So with your hands, you're just gonna mix it. Make sure everyone gets a little bit of the ingredients, the paprika, parsley, salt, and pepper. I don't really cook too much with paprika, so I'm excited to see how this is gonna turn out. So the chicken is mixed up. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands. You don't wanna cross contaminate, so always wash with soap and water, especially when you're using raw chicken. Okay guys, so we are gonna put the heat on the Dutch oven to about, I wanna say medium. And then we are gonna cover the bottom with some olive oil. A generous amount so it doesn't stick. Once that heats up, I'm gonna start placing the chicken that we've marinated into the pan and make sure that it's evenly spread on the bottom. Hey, a minute, baby. Hey, Finley. So we're just gonna let that heat up. You can just feel the heat on the top, not putting your hand directly on the pan, but just above it. 
I could feel that warming up right now. So I'm gonna take my tongs and I'm gonna place the chicken on the very bottom. Give you guys a nice little sneak peek of how all five of those thighs fit perfectly on the bottom of this Dutch oven. Hi, Finley. So we are gonna let that cook on both sides. And once we finish cooking the chicken, I will um, show you guys what next, what's the next step. Okay guys, so I flipped the chicken and now the chicken is completely done cooking. So I'm gonna take it out of the Dutch oven and put it on a little plate on the side. And the chicken looks super juicy. Okay, so the chicken's look completely to the side. Now, I don't know if you guys can see, but on the bottom it has like little bits of like where the chicken was cooking, and that's where a lot of the flavor is gonna be. So now we're gonna take some garlic. I just have minced garlic already um, chopped up in a little jar, and we're gonna take one tablespoon of that and add it into the bottom of the pan. So let me just measure that out. And again, adding one tablespoon. So we're gonna mix that on the bottom. Just kind of brown it up a little bit. But you don't wanna burn it, you just wanna brown it. And you guys can see that it's brown. So from there, we are gonna add one cup of rice. We're gonna use brown, we already have it measured out. So one cup of rice, and then we're also gonna use some chicken stock. And for the chicken stock, we are gonna use a cup and a half. So I have a half a cup right now, so I'm gonna have to fill this up two more times. Finley! Okay, so you're gonna wanna mix this and you're gonna wanna bring it to a low simmer for about 10 minutes. So now the rice has been simmering for about 10 minutes. We're just gonna get a little light stir. We're gonna add a dash of salt and pepper. A little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Give it one more good mix. And then we're gonna turn off the heat and we're gonna place our chicken right back in the crock pot. Or, sorry, the Dutch oven. Oh, I need my tongs. So with your tongs, you're gonna gently place the chicken back in the bottom of the Dutch oven. And right now I put the oven on for 400 and we are going to put the lid on this and I'm going to put this Dutch oven in the oven for 35 minutes again at 400 degrees. Okay guys, so it has been um, a little over 35 minutes. I checked the food um, at the 35 minute mark and I noticed that the chicken stock wasn't fully absorbed so I added another 10 minutes so just make sure that when you do cook this um, the liquid is fully absorbed in the rice so I'm gonna scoot you guys closer so you can see I'm gonna open it and that is how it should look the rice shouldn't be wet it should be mostly absorbed and drier and there's the chicken and here are my bear paw oven mitts if you guys are curious Amazon. I will link that down below also. So I'm going to let this cool down and I'm going to serve this up and this is our game night meal.
Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, the last time we spoke was Monday. We we're just here, barely getting home. Thinking about making some pizza, Sicilian pizza. Gonna have some red wine. We're still deciding which one we're gonna go with. Mm -hmm. We got we a couple with? of clearance ones at Target. So we were like, let's try them before they get rid of them. This is the Montevina, a red wine blend. And I was reading in the back right now that it says it has like notes of berries and vanilla, so kind of sweeter. So I don't think that would go good with um, pizza. And this is a Malbec by the brand Trapiche. And it's an Argentinian brand. It says, same thing, a little bit sweeter. Ooh, ideal to serve with cheeses, red meats, mushroom stew, and ooh, a typical Argentinian asado, which we've never had. That one I think we should be good. Yeah. So we made the Sicilian pizza. We've been super mm -hmm. busy. Um, yesterday I filmed my highlight and contour routine and <laughs> from the pizza to me but yeah I filmed my highlight and contour routine and that's going up today which is Thursday so you guys won't see um, you'll see that video before you see this one so that should be exciting I've really been happy doing these beauty videos so we're gonna enjoy this pizza enjoy this wine catch up on our arrow it's getting really exciting mm -hmm. we've been obsessed with the show arrow and um, it has like what five seasons? Yeah, it's been pretty long. And we're barely on season three, so we're still we're still going. Mm -hmm. We've got a lot of stuff. So we're gonna finish our meal, and then we're gonna show you guys. Um, we got this new Dollar Shave Club box, and we want to show you guys what's in it. Um, spent our own money on it, so we'll see if it's good or not. So we'll touch base in a little bit. Here we go, Finley. Hi, handsome. All right. So we just got back from Trader Joe's and we are gonna share some little goodies that we found. And Ooh. this guy's gonna share it with you. So we were just gonna go in to get some cheese for our wine. But <laughs> we, were like, we ended up coming out with We got distracted some with so many tiramisu. things. Oh, that looks so good. We got this. What is it? I don't know if it's acai or acai, but we got these packets. And the thing I liked about it is that it's unsweetened. And the sugar is only, oh, zero. So that's pretty good. So we'll have that for breakfast tomorrow. Then we've got four chocolate croissants. Oh my gosh, these are amazing. My Aunt Catherine, um, she used to make these for us when we would go up and stay with them. And so I wanted to show him how tasty they are. Mm -hmm. You leave them out overnight, so it's exciting. This is the cheese, best cheese in the world. Best cheese. This is a blueberry vanilla, um, what does it say? I can't see. It's a fresh goat cheese with blueberry wrapped around it. It is delicious. Even if you're not a fan of like goat cheese or goat milk, mm -hmm. still just try it. Ooh. Brownie crisp. Can you buy it closer? Brownie crisp coffee ice cream sandwiches. Even the guy at the checkout, remember? He was like, yeah. these are amazing. He's like, have you tried them? We're like, no, we just saw them on Instagram. We wanted to try them. And then we wanted to try some burgers too. So she picked out the high protein veggie burgers, mm -hmm. which have 26 grams of protein. Yeah. And I picked out the grass-fed Angus beef that I want to try out. It's 19 grams. That's crazy that a veggie burger would have more than your beef one. Yeah. And then with our burgers, we'll have a little side of garlic fries. Or even these. And we got some sweet potatoes. Maybe even making that in the morning with like some eggs or something would be tasty. Mm -hmm. Or a little burrito. Like avocado sandwich or mm -hmm. And then last but not least, we got Simple Times Pilsner Beer. Again, we saw this on um this lady's trader joe's account she always posts like the new hot stuff and we wanted to try it so we got a couple of little goodies definitely not going to be eating all of this tonight but i think we will be trying the brownie ice cream sandwiches those look so tasty finley's right here if you guys follow us on um smitty and finley's account you would have seen that finley got in trouble this morning when we were both away mm -hmm. working that he knocked over a plant that we had but he's been like obsessed with our entryway table. And so he knocked over a plant. He's been eating. It's a fake plant too. So he's been eating the leaf. So that's hilarious. And so he was pouting ever since we got home. So are we going to have some cheese right now? Um, yeah. Do you want some cheese in the rest of the wine? Yep. Sounds yes, yes, tasty. Yes, yes. So while I have you guys here, let me set you up. And I'm going to talk to you guys more about the Dollar Shave Club that we signed up for. You like the blade so far, right? Yeah, really good. Yeah, put that away. You know what's so crazy to me, as we were just talking about it right now, is that he said in his school, you've never wrapped your books. Never in my life. I've never even heard of it. Yeah. Ever. That's crazy. Like, for my school, I'm pretty sure it was, maybe not high school, but like junior high, 
we would have to wrap our books. And so we would get like paper bags like that, like from the market, and you would wrap your book and like you'd decorate it and put markers on it. Or if you were fancy, you'd get those stretchy fabric cloths and like cover your books. But he said he's never heard of it. Never know. <gasps> Is that Finley? Hi, handsome. Hi, beautiful boy. You were being naughty. You remember? Do you remember when you were being naughty, Finley? Hey, 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 Just don't like that. Yeah. <laughs> Just like that. You mean like this? Yeah. You're being naughty boy. You want to show everyone else what else you did on our bed? The headboard. Oh. Mm. Come on, Finley. Let's go show the people. Come on. Finley. I know you're listening. Finley. Yeah, let's go. Come on. So this guy has been up to absolute no good. Here he comes right now. He knows he's naughty and he's in trouble. Um, he, let me put the light on for you, has taken out one of our buttons in our headboard and he pulled out the string. Now the issue with this is this headboard is tufted so like these buttons are like really stuck in there. So if anyone knows how we can fix this, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, if we glue the button, it's just gonna look like, I don't know, weird because it's not like pushed in. So we have no idea how to fix this. He pulled out the string completely. I don't know how he dug out the button. These are really tight. You wanna tell the people more about it? And how you naughty boy? Naughty. And then here comes Smitty. Smitty not a naughty boy. He behaves, he's in charge. Hi, handsome. You're so beautiful, Smitty baby. But Finley, naughty. But we can only stay mad at him for like two seconds. <laughs> That's the worst part, is we came home to the plant on the floor, and like I, I spanked his butt, and I told him, you know, that that's not good, and two seconds later I was hugging him, because I felt horrible. So, we are going to, I'm gonna set you guys up, and I'm gonna talk to you guys at the Dollar Shave Club right now, or, yeah. Are you guys done? Finley. It is so zoomed in on you guys. <laughs> so handsome, both of you. Finley, you're listening to mama, huh? Finley's always on the dining room table. That is always. his thing. Finley, you crazy. Oh, he's off in the camera. <laughs> Are you smelling it? You're so cute. Okay, guys, hopefully you guys can see us. I don't know why you chose to sit on the opposite side where I can't be. No idea. First Dollar Shave Club boxes in the mail today. I'm not going to show you our address in case anyone wants to stalk us. <laughs> so when you open it, it says, hope you're into looking, looking and feeling great because you're about to. So it comes with, when you open it, a little bathroom minutes, which I thought was so cute. And it's called the Chocolate Bear. And it's just like little things, I guess, for like you to read on the toilet, which I think is so funny. So we're going to leave that on the toilet. If anyone, I guess, wants to read it. <laughs> so that's cute. That's a little cute little added thing in there. Then it says the member handbook. It says, welcome to the, cl the club. Shave, shave time, shave money. Didn't even notice that. So I guess they have three different levels. You have different blades. The first one is called the humble twin, and that has um, two blades. Then you have, I think, the four times, the four X. And you have four blades, and then you have the executive. And that's the one that both me and Adolfo ended up getting. Um, just to see how it works. And I guess if you don't like the blades, you can go down a size. You can go to the twin blade or the fort ones. And yeah, so every month they will send you four new heads. So I will show you what that looks like right now. I haven't opened mine. Adolfo's already started using his Not today. Funny. And he said he really likes it. So I'm going to open this. First thing that you get is the handle. And this thing is like really heavy, huh? Yeah. Like really this nice. It really is. That's crazy. So again, this is the executive one that we both ended up getting. So this is the handle that you guys will get. And it's really, yeah. it has some weight to it. That's really nice. Then they threw in a nice little shave butter. So it's like a shaving cream, but more moisturizing. So that's nice. I like nice. that one a lot. Yeah. Cause it was like really thick, huh? Yeah. Moisturizing. Okay. You kiss it on your boys? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you get, it says fresh kicks, not fresh nicks. Change your blade each week. So they send you four blades. Ooh four blades every single month and it comes in this little cartridge this one fell out but that's okay it comes in this little cartridge and then you just clip this on the back of one right yeah 
Is that how you did yours? How do you, you do it? it oh, wow. It slides in really easily. So you literally just, hopefully I can do it. How do you do this? Does it lock or something? How do you do it? Just mm. careful with the blades. Oh, there you go. So you just push this piece up. Okay. That's what I figured. So it clicks in really, really easily. And now that I know what this little top piece is, you push it up and I guess it pulls the blade out. So that's that. And then you, again, you have the little four. So that's cool. So every month you pay, I think we pay $5.96. It's really affordable, but $5.96 each. And we got to get four blades. So a new one each and every week, which is awesome. I feel like we spend a lot more on that. Like if we buy a bag of razors, yeah, we spend that easily, you know? And it keeps you more consistent to change them out. Yeah, because it's really dangerous. I remember my mom telling me a story about, um, I think it was this model, and she shaved Sunny's face. She shaved her legs with like a rusty razor, and the rust got in her blood, and she died. Like it's really, really bad for you. That's why I'm so like adamant about changing my razors all the time. Like even if I see the slightest amount of like discoloration, it's mm. just it's not worth it. So this is awesome because every single week we can change our blades, each of us, and we have a little. Um, mirror in the shower where we can hang them so we know like the his and hers so that's really exciting and you said you really like it so far oh yeah i really like the shape butter yeah you can use mine too so this is cool and then they have like a bunch of other things i think where did i put it did i put the little manual back in here they have so many other things on the website that just um <laughs> this is a big pamphlet it says you could add more shave butter, you could add a post-shave cream, mm -hmm. and um, they have this little like quiz that you can take on the website, and you can talk about like your hair, like if you like like a matte look or a shiny look, or if you want stronghold, and they'll recommend a bunch of products for you, yeah. and like what's your skin type, yeah. So you can like update it, and then they'll recommend things for you, and you can always just add it. And if you already have a little shave club like monthly. Um, membership i think they add it for like a discount so that's really cool so if you guys are interested we'll leave a link in the bottom so you can get a referral i think it gets you like five dollars off and again the box is five dollars so you practically get it free so that's it's worth it. it i think so too i think it's really worth it so far like i said we just started but the quality of this like handle is insane i didn't think it's gonna be like that sturdy but i guess it makes sense you know because you're only changing the top part so you want this to Gotta really last, last. So that's that. We are going to. What are we gonna do? Get our ice cream. And then watch some arrow. You have watch so much arrow. cat hair on you from oh, I'm not Finley. Surprise. <laughs> He's rubbing his face on him. So we are gonna watch some arrow because we're still absolutely obsessed with that. Anytime we have How about time. cheese and wine? Yeah, we're gonna have some cheese and wine. Hopefully it doesn't mix bad. I was craving a coffee, so I got a Jack in the Box coffee. So tasty. And if you guys want to see Smitty. Angry face. Smitty, you pouting? What's wrong? Don't be angry. So, we will check back in a little bit.
watching Arrow all night long. Mm -hmm. And so we got these um, chocolate croissants from Trader Joe's. And again, my aunt is the one that like got us hooked on these things. So what you do is you let these sit overnight. So you just get a little cookie sheet. We got these little Amazon basic, um, they're like cookie sheet liners. And they just make like pastries and cookies and everything that you bake just so much easier to clean. And so you just put this on here. And I'm going to take these croissants out. It's super simple, the ingredients. So this is what they look like. And it just says, place frozen pastries seam side down four to five inches apart on a very lightly buttered or paper lined baking sheet. So this is considered like paper lined. So, I mean, you can literally just put them like this now. Or should I put them side by side like this? Yeah. You Seems so. more roomy. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, so this is what they look like. It says allow to sit uncovered for um, all night long at room temperature. It says you will be astounded by how much these grow and you guys truly will. So take a good look. This is what it looks like right now, right when we set them down. And we will be sure to follow up with you guys tomorrow morning before we make them. You guys are going to be shocked. And I think you're going to be shocked because you've never seen mm, these before. Never. before. These are going to be massive, but they're going to be so good with a nice warm coffee. So we're excited. We are going to go to bed. Finley's behind you. Finley, you want to say good night? Say good night, bimbos. We'll see you in the morning. Finley, you're hungry. You think this is food for you. This is for mommy and daddy. Here comes Smitty, too. Here comes Smitty. You can... You ready to go to bed too, Smitty? It's my baby. You sleepy? Alright guys, so we will see you in the morning, and you will see these in the morning. <laughs> Alright guys, so we are back. These things are enormous. We are going to compare both the video that we took last night to today, and it's, it's amazing. I didn't realize how big they were going to grow, but um, the instructions say to preheat now to 350. And then once it's preheated to throw them in for 20 to 25 minutes and if you want them you know extra yellowy to batter an egg and just put it on there a little bit so we're gonna put them in right now we're gonna go grab some coffee and we're gonna start our day that butt wiggle Finley you got the morning crazies Finley. Come here. Finley. Come here. Oh, you vicious. You crazy. Finley. Good morning. All right, guys, so I think this guy already recorded a little bit. Mm -hmm. So we're waiting on our croissants. Meanwhile, we were waiting, we went downstairs to go grab some coffee, got mm -hmm. some Starbucks. And while we were waiting in line, these um, little, what are they called? I don't know. Thermos? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. What did they say? They're cups. All right. We found these giant cups at Starbucks and I fell in love with this like marble one. If you guys can see, it's like marble and it's super heavy, this one. Yeah. And then he got the manly version, which is like a black and then the silver on the top. So we're gonna start putting our lemon water in here and we got some coffee. What'd you get? Uh, the white chocolate mocha. And I got really obsessed with that I know. He's been getting it every single time that we go to Starbucks. And I got, they spelled your name wrong. A-D-O-L-P-H-O. <laughs> And I got a Grande Blonde Latte Vanilla, which I've never tried, but I wanted to try their blonde collection. So right now we're waiting for our croissants. I have my phone. Oh, it's my timer. Hi, oh, Finley. 11 minutes, if you guys can see. 11 minutes. Thank you so much. So we'll let you guys know when they are done. 